Hi, my name is Sitcha Kumar. I'm an assistant professor of surgical oncology here at Roswell Park Cancer Institute. My areas of specialty include breast cancer and thyroid cancer, and since September is Thyroid Cancer Awareness Month, I thought it'd be nice to sit down and have a face-to-face -face little talk about what's going on with thyroid cancer. So you might not know, but everybody has a thyroid gland in the neck. It sits in the middle of your neck. There's a right side and a left side. It sits right on top of your trachea, and it has a huge function in the body. It helps regulate a lot of your metabolism. It helps regulate um, your thyroid hormone levels. It helps regulate things uh, such as your hair and your nails and your skin, and whether you feel hot and cold, and really a sense of your metabolism as well. Uh, so it has a lot of important functions in the body. With that being said, just like cells everywhere in the body, thyroid cells can also become cancerous and develop a thyroid cancer. And when that happens, we sometimes have to take out the thyroid gland. So even though the thyroid gland is very important, it can be removed and you can still be okay if it's removed. So thyroid cancer is certainly not a rare cancer in the United States. More than 50,000 people per year are diagnosed in the US with thyroid cancer. It's uh, much more common in women than it is in men. Um, and it's more common in certain age groups as well. So for women, it's more common in the 40s and the 50s, um, and for men, a little bit older in the 50s and 60s. Now, anybody can get thyroid cancer. It's not, some, some forms of thyroid cancer are associated with genetic mutations. However, it's not necessarily a hereditary cancer. And so really anyone is susceptible. Unlike a lot of the cancers we have, such as breast cancer with mammographic screening and skin cancer with full body checks and prostate cancer with prostate exams and colorectal cancer with, col with colonoscopies, unlike those cancers, thyroid cancer doesn't really have a screening test. There's no test that we can do to monitor you for thyroid cancer. However, it is important that you uh, know what some of the symptoms are associated with it so you know what to look out for. So if you feel any kind of nodules, your thyroid gland sits right here, right on top of your trachea, and your carotids are right here. Um, if you notice any kind of nodules on your neck, or if you notice any kind of abnormal feeling in your neck, nodes, masses, anything like that, or if you notice any change in the caliber of your voice, such as hoarseness, or if you go to your doctor's office and your doctor feels your neck and notices something, then that's something that really should get checked out. And by checked out, I mean some basic blood work, and a thyroid ultrasound. So what your doctor will be looking for on the ultrasound is whether you have any nodules. Now you should know that nodules are not that uncommon. About 50% of the population will have nodules. However, some nodules, especially as they get larger, can harbor cancers. And so when they get larger, we'll sometimes recommend a biopsy or a needle into the nodule of your neck, which is done very easily in the office to take a little piece of the thyroid to look at it under the microscope to help determine whether it's benign, meaning not cancerous, or malignant, having cancer. And if you do have cancer, then it's important to see a thyroid surgeon to see what kind of treatments you need next. One of the things that's important is if you've had radiation to your neck in the past, you are at a higher risk of developing thy thyroid cancer. So if you've had any kind of radiation for acne, for example, or for lymphoma, or, um, or if you've been exposed to, uh, to spillage from a nuclear power plant, for example, then you might have an increased risk of developing thyroid cancer. And in those situations, it might be prudent for your doctor to examine your neck a little bit more frequently to, um, to help assess if you have any thyroid cancer. It's important to know that thyroid cancer, if it's found early, is a very, very, very treatable and very curable form of cancer. So when it's found early, there are things we can do, including surgery and radioactive iodine ablation that can help treat and cure your cancer. So it's important to know about the symptoms, it's important to know about your risk, um, and it's important to discuss these with your doctor.